In this lecture, we are getting started with Firebase and the Firebase command line interface, which we're going to use heavily in our project. So let's start off with talking about what is Firebase. Firebase is a Google-backed application development software. It enables you to build iOS, Android, and web apps. Firebase has a lot of other features as well, like database, hosting, cloud functions, and more. Firebase provides tools for tracking analytics, reporting app crashes, creating marketing experience, and others that I've mentioned. To learn more about Firebase, go to firebase.google.com. Here you can check out the documentation and use cases for Firebase. Firebase is very popular for building, releasing and monitoring, as well as engaging. So companies large and small use Firebase as well as extensions. You can integrate Firebase with tools like Google Ads, the Play Store, BigQuery, and more. You can use Google Cloud and Firebase as well because Firebase projects are backed by Google Cloud. Firebase is used by companies like the New York Times, Lyft, Duolingo, and more. Some common use cases you can check out at the Firebase documentation. Firebase is easy to integrate on iOS, Android, and the web. There's a lot of documentation and software development kits that help you build your projects like your Android app, iOS app, your website, your C++ game, or your Unity game, and then integrate Firebase into it. You can do actions like authenticate users. So when someone wants to sign up to your website, you can check out different languages for doing that in. You can read and write in real time to the database. So you can add a new user to the database. You can subscribe a user to a notification topic. Okay, for example, if they want to subscribe to a news topic. You can log a custom analytics event like logging a sharing image event. You can also save an image to cloud storage. So Firebase enables you to store your data via Firebase storage, right? And you can view the documentation to read more about what you can do for build, release, monitoring, and engaging. For example, for build, you can build an app you can spin up the backend without managing the server. You can scale to support millions of users with Firebase databases, machine learning infrastructure, hosting and storage, and cloud functions. So in our project, we're going to use Firebase as our database to store our data. We'll also use Firebase for hosting so we can access our website via the web, thanks to Firebase hosting. We're also going to use Firebase cloud functions, which allow you to interact and handle requests and responses. You can also use Firebase for release and monitoring so you can improve your app quality. You can simplify testing, triaging, and troubleshooting. You can roll out features and monitor them. You can also fix stability and performance issues and see where is your stability or performance lacking. You can also use Firebase for engagement. You can boost user engagement with Firebase analytics, A-B testing, and messaging campaigns. You can get insights into your users with data analysis. You can run experiments to test your ideas for engagement, and you can customize your app for user segmentation. So there's a lot you can do with Firebase. It's quite an exciting and powerful tool and very popular, especially since it is backed by Google. So that is Firebase. Coming up, we're going to discuss what is the Firebase command line interface. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.